Welcome to TradeTheNBA.com. This is John. This report is for the 27th of November. And we got a nice orange dip below green and it's following through now below red with the green crossing over. Steel rising is giving us a little bit of a pop, which we see that little gold candle here from a deal con paint standpoint right off that 2635 and the line that we've had from the algo activity before. Pre-market came right up to the 23% and uh, hit a wall. Uh, pretty stiff one. So this is going to be an interesting one because technically this fits within a buy. The problem you've got is the steel now moving over 14 means it's starting to come from underneath, which is expressing some weakness. At the same time, you're getting rising uh, cyan. Now the cyan below zero, yeah, not as strong for shorts, which means this is all on bulls to push this up. And they might have a little bit of trouble because that was a big power move the other day. So it may need to fill back in a little bit before it uh, starts. And you've still got, look at this NASDAQ, still minus 17 on the uh, shakeout. That's well below the negative 13, meaning it's got a lot more work to do to pull itself out from this. And all these dips below the red line, you know, they're going to need to get retraced. So we may see a slight failure of this first one, and then we would look for that second higher pivot like right back here. That's the potential. And the euro, continuing a little bit of softness. That's actually going to put more pressure on the S&P. Uh, you know, the bird exit deal is not seeming all that uh, wonderful a panacea for the euro at this particular point. And, of course, TLT suffering a little bit because of this weakness, um, market indecision, whether or not the Fed will continue, uh, though it hasn't changed its policy, it says it's going to continue to tighten which would make this a bit overdone, but people are seeking a little bit of safety within the uh, broader range. Here's that shrunken view of oil showing the deep, deep move back to fill in. All these positive extremes from way back here. And getting very close to the uh, bottom side of them. It's filled in all these already uh, from above, so. You just got a couple that are way back from here as we approach uh, these tremendous lows, which is definitely going to be a boon for people who don't have to spend all that money on fuel. Gold still holding up, which means that uh, people are looking now for alternatives to the asset classes. Let's slide this 5K over. It was an interesting day. Started off with this huge run that was all in the pre-market. We were talking about it. It set up quite a few positive extreme retraces from a variety of these uh, setups. You can see the low right here, the 25.55 right now. So it's filled it all the way back through here. That just leaves all the way back to the 45 level, which um, at 63, we're a little ways off. But it certainly took some action in between, and uh, it gave some okay signals. Made some short moves with uh, little bullish pops without a reset of uh, steel. Uh, that didn't happen until well, right over here after run had started from a dip below the orange line. You can see these other ones that happened as well. They ended pretty quick, though, once that uh, orange moves over green and still cyan above green and you had that key meeting point and then there was the rejection that led to the new lows and that produced a new buy configuration and a p2 and then that one started to take off um got a little sketchy as it came through here but with the green over orange you can see the opposite relationship and why this one continued and the other stopped because you ended up with cyan over and uh, in this case, you had no steel crossover lower um, below the sign that didn't even take place until like right over here, which was the earliest beginning of anything, which really wasn't much because you still had a nice rising red. Uh, and then we got the positive extremes and those started to fill back in. But it was much to do about muck. And then right at the end of the day, super sharp DLC spread right there. And kaboom, as we went into the close and then right after in the post market, ended up making new lows, but again, that dip below, turn around. Um, and you can see the start of it was right here as the steel crosses the green. So after the big dip, boom, right there, steel crosses the green, and then boom, makes an aggressive move across the um, 
orange. And then at that point, I'm usually looking for that crossover of the steel, which took place right there. And then you get the confirmation of the long turnaround. And of course, you see they still go back and forth. And of course, the green stayed above um, orange throughout the entire thing because at that point, Sam moved under. So it wasn't until we got to the uh, positive extremes that set up retrace values again. It's a little higher. 69 was the number for that. Came through, filled that in the pre market. And this is where we're at right now with the um, steel having crossed below. So that kind of cuts off the power of the down move. It doesn't mean it's over, it just means, hey, I just had to stop. Uh, something reasonable. Um, in this particular case, you don't have orange dipping below to uh, uh, give the buy signal yet, but you're likely to see the potential of a crossover unless these reject while the snake mouth is still slightly open and it reopens itself. That would be a new short level to fill in some of those other broader um, positive extremes. And I'll probably mark those uh, mid-range ones in between here. And I'll put that on the Skype chat and you'll be able to see uh, what that looks like at this particular point. So all in all, it's very healthy action, uh, really solid moves back and forth. Uh, which means you got to stay fluid with this, as, particularly as you're building a bottom here, especially when we look at that daily, because it's trying to base. And usually there's a lot of flexibility. There's still some sellers in there. People are not sure, so they want to take a little bit of gain. And you just work with that. So that's the long and the short of it as it is right now. And uh, as always, though, I will keep updating anything uh, that's relevant or significant changes. That most significant one, though, being uh, this dip of the orange below red in that for the potential for positive uh, push through that 23%, though, is going to be the key. 2684, keep an eye on it because then I think you're going to propel yourself all the way up to that 2730 is easy. Trade well, and uh, we will talk again later. Ciao.